back. When? Today? Come on, Dave. Listen, Edison, I want my money back. I bought that calculator from you because I needed one right away, and it was cheap. That piece of junk answers three when I try to add one and one. New math? Okay, okay, it's just a joke, just a joke. Give me till tomorrow. Five bucks. Don't forget, I'll be looking for you. Sure, Dave, no problem. No problem. Tells the kids trying to do what they should. They're growing up in the neighborhood. Or the up the street, they have no round of men. They're called the Edison Twins. Now every day is a different drive. And they pull through with a lot of style. Always getting out of trouble if they get in. Side with the Edison Twins. Loose. I gotta get this thing working. Anything to get out of your geology project, right? Geology bores me. Anyone who can read a book and look at a picture can do it. But a security camera, triggered automatically, that takes pictures in the dark, that's interesting. Problem. Wow! It's not my fault. I just came through the door. Never mind. You'll be fascinated to know that if you hadn't barged in before I'd finished, you might have had your picture taken. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Tom's just looking for an excuse to avoid starting his rock collection. Oh, really? You don't happen to have five bucks lying around, do you? What do you need five bucks for? Expenses. I've got expenses. I'm a little short this week, Paul, but if you can wait a couple of days. Thanks, anyway. Well, I've got a few things to do. I'll see ya. We'll come back after dinner and fiddle with it, okay? Mom and Dad get home from their conference soon before we all starve to death. Well, you've got three days, so you can cook the next meal. Uh, Tom, maybe I can help you collect some rocks. Since when have you been interested in geology? Oh, a long time. I'd take any help offered at this point if I were you. It's a good assortment, right? How much is it? Oh, do you have anything cheaper? How much smaller? Three fifty? Great. I'll come by tomorrow after school. The name is Edison. Paul Edison. Thank you. Bye.
sorry to keep you waiting. That's okay. I'm Paul Edison. You have some rocks for me? I called you yesterday. Of course, of course. I'll, I'll get them for you. I, I just remembered where I put your parcel. I'll be with you in, in a minute, gentlemen. There. There you are. I'm sure that's just what you're looking for. Here's your 350. Oh, I almost forgot to charge you. Thank you. Now, gentlemen, what can I do for you? We're, uh, looking for your son, James. Hey, Edison, where's my five bucks? I don't know what you're talking about. What would we be doing with industrial diamonds? But look around. If you find some, I'll, I'll give them to you. No charge. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe we should split my rock collection. That way we both have something to hand in. Hand me the wire cutters, will you? No, Annie, you keep your rock collection. Oh, I think you're cutting the wrong one. Uh, no, I'm not. I think you're being really stubborn. Paul, how about those rocks you said you had for me? Oh, yeah. Uh, here. Have a look. They're very special. You won't find rocks like these just lying around anywhere. It's awfully small, Paul. I need rocks, not marbles. Tom, just take a look at them. I think... No, that's not gonna work. Tom, please, just take a look at them. Unlucky, wait here. I'll go get the soldering gun. Try reversing the lead. So what's with the money crunch, Paul? Come clean. Well, I sold Dave my old calculator. Broke on him the next day. Now he wants his money back. It's a tough break. Paul, I don't want him. Claire, when have you ever seen so many stones almost the same size? Look at him. They're great, unique. Only seven fifty. Paul, I don't care. I still don't want them. What are you doing with them anyway? Trying to unload them. Never mind. You don't know where I could get five bucks right away, do you? Uh, gee, Paul, no. Why do you need five bucks? Just to save my life. That's all.
never been late with a science project before. He's got to give me extra time, right? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I thought you were on my side. I usually am. I just don't understand how you got yourself into this. Gilmore's going to kill you. Oh, you're paranoid. I'll just give him a line. Like what? Your gerbil had the flu and you had to stay up with him? Tom, he's not dumb. Okay, I'll tell him the truth. What's he going to do to me? It's probably not as bad as you think. A month or two of cleaning test tubes, you know. Where's Tom? Still inside. Mr. Science finally gets it. Ha! Hi, Tom. Hi. What a pain. Well, what'd he say? He said, I don't expect you to pull this sort of thing, Tom. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to make an example of you. Well? No use of computers, no electronics. Instead, I have to take a month of extra geology classes. That's too bad. moves in, I see. No probs. Patty, get in here! Wow. You lose your temper, Doc? Not a funny little guy. Not funny at all. None of the valuable stuff's gone. The computer's still here, the TV, the tools, the camera. What is this, a bad joke? No. Oh, this is really weird. Do you think we should call the police? Of course, but what are we going to tell them? That someone wrecked our workshop and didn't take anything? This place is a disaster. It looks like they were searching for something. What could they have wanted? Give me a hand. Great day. First Gilmore and now this. Yeah, and since the salt mine? Close. Yeah. You don't still have those rocks you were trying to peddle, do you? Yeah. But uh, they may be taken. I've got a lot of people interested in them. In fact... Forget I... it, then. Well, since you are family after all... Here they are. And I'll give you a good price for them, too. And I'll look at them later. Only twelve fifty. Get real! Okay, ten bucks. Seven fifty, and that's rock bottom. Tommy needs the money. I'll explain later. Just put him over there on the bench. Thanks, Tom. You really got a bargain. Go, clear up your debts. Look at this. My little brother ripped me off. That's weird. 
Where would he have gotten so many exactly alike? I've never seen stones like this before. Well, they're crystalloid. Scratch this piece of glass with one of Paul's stones. A lot of substances do that. Wait a minute, the geology book. Industrial diamonds? Diamonds? What diamonds? Come on. A nice little bag of rocks you took out of here? The ones my old man sold you? How'd you do that? Diamonds cost a lot more than three fifty. Seven fifty is not a bad price for diamonds. And you said geology was boring? That explains why the workshop was wrecked. Kid around, he's about that big. His name's Paul Edison. No. Annie, you guys haven't seen Paul, have you? No. I think so. Excuse me, Miss. Have you seen a little guy? He's about this big. He's got dark hair, and his name's Paul. Anything? No. Okay, hey, let's think back a bit. Where did Paul get those stones? bought them somewhere thinking that they were regular geology specimens. I need to find a rock shop. It's gotta be Donovan's. That's the only one around here. You're right. Come on. Hey, the store's closed. Maybe you can help us. We're looking for a little boy about nine years There's old. There's no one here. Come back tomorrow. Well, we don't want to buy anything. We're just looking for our little brother. Yeah? What does he look like? He's short, dark hair, nine years old. His name's Paul. Sorry. No one who looks like that around here. Out of the hotel, so I left a message. What are you doing? It works, Tom. It really works. Do you know what that means? I didn't know they were diamonds. I only paid three fifty for them. And then what did you do with them? Well, then I brought them home, and then. Go on. Want some? Well, I'll give you all of this as soon as you tell me what you did with them. I won't tell you. Nice cold drink of milk? No, no. Everything costs, you know. No diamonds, no milk. No diamonds, no sandwich. You broke into the workshop. Wait a sec. It's also the guy we saw at Donovan's. Lucky it worked. Let's call the police. Look. You seem my father. Yes. He's an old man. He won't be able to work much longer. And all I'm trying to do is 
put away enough bread for when he retires. Really? Young man, how did you get yourself into this mess? Spots and rocks, that's all. He snatched me right off the street. It's a good thing Tom and Annie got that photograph last night. We've been watching him for quite a long time now. We knew James was fencing stolen jewelry and uncut stones, but we could never get any evidence on him. Well, uh, why did Mr. Donovan sell me the diamonds in the first place? Well, Mr. Donovan recognized my partner and I when we came into the store the other day. Now, James has been in trouble with the police before, so Mr. Donovan was just trying to get rid of the evidence to protect his son. And you were there, Paul. Uh, officer, when do I get my 350 back? I'm afraid that's gonna take a couple of weeks. No fair! No money, no rocks. Well, I think we better go home now. Are you sure I can't get the money sooner? Now, Paul. Uh... So? How did he torture you? Well, first he ate the biggest sandwich you've ever seen. Right in front of me. <laughs> oh, by the way, when am I going to get my 750 back? What? Oh, I paid 750 for those rocks. When am I going to get that back? Later, Tom. Much later. Paul has to pay Dave back first. What I don't understand is how did you guys take that picture in the dark? Normally, photographs are taken when film is exposed to energy in the form of light. But there are special films that can record other forms of energy as well. Using x-rays is one way to make a photograph without light. Another way is with infrared radiation or heat. This is how it works. To take a picture in the dark, we loaded the camera with heat-sensitive film and added a source of heat, the radiator. This was the source of energy for the film. Heat reacts the same way light would. The waves spread from the radiator to the subject's face, then bounce to the lens of the camera, which focuses the image onto the heat-sensitive film. This causes a reaction on the special film similar to the reaction of light on normal film. Then we developed the film and printed the picture in the usual way. Just kids trying to do what they should. They're growing up in the neighborhood. Oh, the up the street and around the bend. They're called the Edison Twins. Now every day is a different trial. But they pull through with a lot of style. Always getting out of trouble if they get in. Life with the Edison Twins. And if you use your head, you'll always win. You know the Edison Twins. Oh. Are quite the same. Life is just a learning game, and if you use your head, you'll always win, just like the Edison twins.